during the offseason, you were inducted into the Monmouth University Hall of Fame. Miles Austin was there too. Do you think that you could guard him on a football field? <laughs> I think I'd have little to no chance at all to stay with him. Maybe if, uh, if it was a five yard field, maybe I could hang with him. But besides that, yeah, there's no shot I could cover him. Of course, you have the plaque, but did you take home the cardboard cutout of you? I tried to get it home. Actually, my wife wanted it. So what they did is they ordered another one and sent it to us. And every time you go up the steps and at nighttime, kind of like freaks you out when you see it just because, yeah, there's not too people that have the fat heads, especially of themselves at home. Being a New Jersey guy right in the Shore area, is there a must spot for you to go to anytime that you either come to New York to play the Yankees, the Mets, or during the offseason? There's this place, uh, Sorrento Subs, that's in Freehold, New Jersey, and then uh, uh, the other one is Federici's Pizza. So their subs are amazing. Actually, Bruce Springsteen gets the subs like sent to him when he's on the road sometimes, apparently. So definitely those two spots. Your wife, she's a singer and songwriter. Have you asked her to do any sort of Bruce Springsteen or Frank Sinatra song? I actually haven't, that's a good idea. She uh, she thinks everybody who's a Springsteen fan is a little obsessive, which I guess I can't blame her because everybody kind of knows his music, every single word, every single song, and uh, it's actually a good point. I should bring that up, but she's not she's not a huge Bruce fan, and uh, I mean, I appreciate his music just because being from the area and everything like that, but yeah, she actually hasn't sung or tried to sing any of those songs. Has she let you jump on a guitar or do any sort of singing alongside with her? There was one night when my brothers were in town. We were having a little bit of fun and there wasn't too many people in the bar, so she let me get up there and sing, uh, I think it was like Wonderwall. Because that was the one song I tried to learn how to play on the guitar. She never really gave me a chance to, but I'd get up, uh, try to sing it that night. It wasn't very good, but thankfully there weren't too many witnesses there to see. <laughs> You're repping New Jersey on the baseball field, and you're also showing some swag this year. Yeah. Are we going to see more of the uh, uh, the high sock look? Maybe a little bit. That uh, hasn't really gotten the best reviews. A lot of people said they don't really like the socks, but people in Maryland, they love the state flag, so you can't go wrong with that. Do you think that you could ever out-eat Adam Jones? I don't know. Maybe ice cream. Maybe I, uh, when I was uh, when I was younger in high school and college, I could put some ice cream away. I actually would be able to put like a whole bowl of ice cream in like 20 seconds or something crazy like that and Frosties from Wendy's. For whatever reason, I could hit, I could uh, get rid of those pretty fast. <laughs> if you could ask anybody a question and you're guaranteed a yes, what would the question be and who would you ask it to? Oh man, I'd ask Justin Timberlake to play a round of golf. Uh, I think he's unbelievably talented. Went to his concert a few years ago. He's he's ridiculously talented. He's really into sports and seems like golf and I love golfing too. So uh, I think if there was one now that I'm thinking about the top of my head, I think if there's one thing, I think that would be it.